Hello, I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a consultant histopathologist. I'll be talking about epithelial neoplasm of the ovary, benign serous tumors. Benign serous tumors. They include cyst adenoma, cyst adenofibroma, adenofibroma, surface papilloma. Term used depends on the relative amount of fibrous stroma, but distinctions are often arbitrary. General background. They are benign partially or completely cystic lesions measuring more than one centimeter in size. Please note that cysts less than one centimeter are designated as cortical inclusion cysts. They are composed of cells resembling fallopian tube epithelium that is simple columnar ciliated epithelium or cuboidal non ciliated epithelium resembling ovarian surface epithelium. Benign serous tumors comprise 50% of all serous ovarian neoplasms. They are almost always confined to the ovary. Benign serous tumors are frequently bilateral in 7 to 20% of cases and metachronous, especially in older women. They have a wide age range, including premenarchal to postmenopausal women, but predominantly reproductive age. Most benign tumors are asymptomatic and discovered incidentally. Women may present with abdominal enlargement, pain, or vaginal bleeding. They have no significant morbidity or mortality unless torsion, rupture, or infection occur. Ultrasound study. This photo shows an ultrasound image of a unilocular cyst without excrescences. This photo shows an ultrasound image of a unilocular cyst with papillations. Gross appearance, serous cyst adenoma. It occurs in the ovary, less commonly fallopian tube. It appears grossly as a thin walled and translucent cyst with watery fluid and smooth and glistening external surface. Serous cyst adenoma. It is a cystic swelling filled with pale yellow serous fluid. Upon opening, the cyst is unilocular or it is multilocular. They show smooth outer and inner surfaces and devoid of excrescences. Occasionally, serous tumors can secrete watery material resembling mucin and thus resemble a mucinous cyst adenoma. However, its constituent cells do not contain intracytoplasmic mucin, pass diastase, or mucicarmin negative. Here we see inner aspect of serous cyst adenoma showing papillary structures protruding within. Note that a solitary papillation 
within one loculation. Serous cyst adenofibroma. It has various amounts of fibrous stroma seen grossly as solid firm nodular or thickened areas within the cyst. Serous cyst adenofibroma. The fibromatous component sometimes forms soft to firm polypoid excrescences within the wall. Serous surface papilloma. This photo shows bilateral serous surface papillomas, which are small, simple papillae and exophytic. A subserosal lyomyoma is present in the uterine fundus. Microscopic features Serous cyst adenoma of the ovary. The cyst is lined by a single layer of ciliated tubal type epithelium that is ciliated pseudostratified cuboidal or columnar epithelium. The epithelium is supported by variable amounts of spindle cell stroma. This photo shows cystic spaces with no papillary excrescences. It shows a single layer of simple flattened to cuboidal non ciliated epithelial cells with uniform basal nuclei. This cyst shows focal papillary projections lined by a single layer of ciliated pseudostratified cuboidal to columnar epithelium resembling that lining the fallopian tube. They lack cytologic atibia, architectural complexity or invasion. Serous cyst adenoma. The cyst is lined by ciliated epithelium with minimal nuclear atibia. The epithelium is supported by variable amounts of spindle cell stroma. It lacks a cytologic atibia, architectural complexity, or invasion. Serous cyst adenofibroma. These two photos show broad fibrous papillae lined by a single layer of tubal type epithelium protruding into a cyst. The stroma is composed of bland spindled cells arranged in fascicles and storiform patterns in a collagenized background. Serous cyst adenoma with focal proliferation and atibia. Localized epithelial stratification and tufting, that is, focal borderline change, are present in less than 10% of an otherwise ordinary serous cyst adenoma. No complex papillary growth, that is, no secondary branching is seen. Surface serous papilloma. Stromal papillae with a prominent fibroblastic component covered by bland tubal type epithelium project from the ovarian surface. Differential diagnosis of serous cyst adenoma, cyst adenofibroma. It includes borderline serous tumors, which have a hierarchical papillary architecture with secondary branching, epithelial stratification, 
tufting with detached epithelial cell clusters, cytologic atibia, occasional mitotic figures. By definition, serous tumors with the focal border line change less than 10% of the tumor epithelium in an otherwise benign tumor are designated as serous cyst adenoma or cyst adenofibroma with focal proliferation or focal atibia. Prognosis and treatment of benign serous tumors. They are clinically benign. Indeed, distinction between the categories of benign serous neoplasia does not have clinical significance. Simple, complete excision, cystectomy or adnexectomy is curative. To minimize surgical morbidity, laparoscopic ovarian cystectomy is often performed. They may recur after incomplete excision. These are the references. Thank you.